It's going to be Fnatic up against Galaxy Racer. You know, maybe the, the Abaddon. I, even then, though, Abaddon is definitely uh, one of the few heroes that it doesn't get countered too much by stuns, but silences is the, is the big issue of this hero. So that smoke cloud could be a nuisance from Polo. Gonna have to keep it, our eyes on also how he can play with the shield, though. You know, if he's not smoke clouded, then you're potentially giving a buff up to the back line. Like a line could be enough to help him get these abilities off. Polo is falling very weak, along with Death up top. They're both just battling it out at the moment. As Death has got the surge on cooldown, this is an immense amount of space for In Your Dream to be free farming the lane. They're losing one with two right now. Oh, Polo, shield fast. If it gets a break, I'm on oh. right click. <laughs> Polo, wow, nice first blood. Yeah, he's basically doubling the net of Darkseer bot lane. Grimstock in trouble. Or is he? Ricky again. Chien. Is he doing rotations? They might be able to get a secondary and they will. Fnatic playing incredibly well and that's you love to see death picking both of them up because he's really struggling is that where raven wants to be right now because it looks like he doesn't feel too pressured to leave the lane radiance middle tower is under attack. yeah that's true too but he doesn't really have any stacks on the ancient Ricky. Oh, no. he doesn't have anyone to bling strike to at the moment tricks the trade gets a little bit of distance and now he's just dangling his life radiance as death tower. dropping the wall Jabs only finds one target with a stun. They've got to be careful though as well because Alacrity is a beefed up in the right click damage. 73 thanks to that static link. So it's a one for one trade in the end. They're going to top tower slowly falling. Might go for a deny. Unfortunately, not going to find it here. Just for that extra health region. What lane? Ox in trouble here if he can get out of the silence. Mizu actually turned him with a coil. He's still going to jump aggressively. He didn't up out. Now he needs a rebuttal. Joe Cam just getting in range for the initial Earth Spike with the Hexfall Control. It looks like they've forced away jabs. So there was not a Blink Strike target for Chian. Level 13, highest in the game. Two points in the ultimate, and this tower is going to be a hard defense from Fnatic. I'll try and start just soaking down the damage of Raven. But he didn't oh, steal too much with the BKB. Four staff displaces him back to the low ground. Now Alakrit is going to look to turn. They've got the numbers advantage. Making a second kill as well thanks to the Eclipse damage. But Alakrit turned to stone. They've caught up the backline as Ricky heavily relies on his mobility right now. Can he get away from the silence? It's lasting for too long as Chen will fall. The shield pops him down. And now they can turn to deal with Raven. Who doesn't have too much mana left in the tank. And he's slowed down. The curse is starting to stack up. Applies another tick here. I mean, death can help him out with a surge, and looks like that's enough. Very scared on the raid, I'm surprised by that. He has BKB in a battle behind him. If he gets a link on the Dusa, should be very jump good. jump him. Where's the position in the back line? You need to try and protect the Medusa. The coil is out. Breaks it instantly. Now with the hit clips as well. But it's doing no damage to the Medusa. In fact, it's tearing apart the rest of the heroes. They need to get in, but Raven's lost all his mana. Alakad is going to try and chase him down, but finally, Chuen shows up big there. The damage from the Ricky enabled from Death's Iron Shell. And now they can force on forward as well as the Abaddon will drop. A triple for Death. Gian is not dead just yet. He wants to try and find in your dream. Yeah, and the fact that she also just about it level, what, 18? Polo's on. They're actually bringing the numbers here. They want to take a fight by the tier two. They've dragged the Medusa away from the back line, which they need to protect them. The wall's out. Sans, soul bind up, leashing the Luna and the Puck together. If they can bring them down through the leash, that's a lot of key components in the Galaxy Racer lineup. And now Raven, where's the backup? Force the Stone Gaze, looking to retreat away with jabs. But can they reset here on Radiant? As Death is incredibly weak, In Your Dreams gonna try and pop the BKB in Eclipse. Deals with one of the first supports in the next assassin. They're hunting for more, but oh, nice use of the Surge Raven. He's gonna turn back around. Finally, Chien jumping him forward. BKB pop from Alacrity, so he won't have this available now. Oh, this is gonna be a rough one. You don't have Alacrity nearby as well. They're not prepared. Joe can blink up forward instantly. Dark Sea almost gets ripped apart. But the Essence Rune's gonna give him enough health to put him in fighting shape. As Raven is also just sieging the apart. It's not the start of the fight that Galaxy Racer were looking for. Maybe the buybacks can bring them back into this fight though. As they've disconnected. They're gonna jump in once again in the river. It's Chien, so gonna be careful. Yopam charges up the finger of death. And Alacrid has got the extra damage. Plus 72 thanks to the static link. But you can't stick around any longer. Without the Lunar in the tank. That damage not there without the finger. Although Mizu might find DJ. One more right click was all that they required with the double damage rune, but Mizu's not going to find that. 
He's healing Salving up in the background, though. Roshan is so important for this game. Raven potentially able to pick up the Agonims, the second life. You know, if Galaxy Racer can take it head to head, though, it's so difficult as the side of Fnatic is set up. Alacrity is going to try. BKB, Static Link, zoning down Raven's damage. But the Aegis, it's going to be snatched. The Stone Gaze giving Raven the space. Now they're going to look to turn. He's lost all his damage. So we're seeing the lackluster amount just slowly poking and prodding down the Razor. But in your dream, charging up the Eclipse. The core's a great one in the backline, but there's no extra follow-up at the moment, which enables Xien to find the puck off to the southern side of the team fight. And now Fnatic can continue to look on for more. They know with this extra life advantage that Galaxy Racer have nothing left in the tank with the BKBs on cooldown with the ultimates on cooldown as well in your dream cannot stand his ground and Nyx just hasn't borrowed like you said the Ricky combining up with the Medusa to, to deal with the backline and if Raven's any anywhere in a, a sticky situation death just surges him out or, or gives him a pipe ow 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 has got no it's about to have no health as well. Razor's dead. Pop. Razor's falling incredibly low, and he still will fall, even though he's soaked away all Raven's damage. And this Medusa's at a stage where the Daedal is just still able to crit these heroes down. He's just going to try and jump in. With all of the numbers disadvantaged from Galaxy Racer, they now have to play around with the buybacks. With two coming out in, slipping in a dream, he still can't even stand his ground. With all the items that the Luna has, she can't go toe to toe. Look, okay, Aghanim's coil drop once again. Medusa does it with them. And there's two edges on her as well. Dire so now they're going to be able to take a tier 3. More area control on the higher ground. They've got to finally make a stand here on Galaxy Race. They're going to try. Maybe looking to break down the Nyx Assassin is the priorities in your dream. But the BKB Eclipse going to be able to do so. But the Aegis finally Aegis ticking right out. Now. This could be the fight. It's Raven. He's really low. The men are going back up to half. The effective health. Finger of death. That's not enough. But the Earth's back there. They don't have to back up. Medusa's down. She's got a buyback. See how Galaxy Racer can defend their high gum. They've done it once previously. It was a lot easier with that Aegis timing, though. And now Jabs is in a safer position as well with the Nyx. Not borrowed up aggressively on top of Galaxy Racer's base. Be careful as well, because Razor forced off in. They're going to try and blow everything on the Medusa on the first life, but a beautiful counter initiation for death. Evac dropping a wall where CGN is just able to rip a pop. The backline keep lying. He doesn't have a buyback available. But use the cheese and alacrity. The BKB now pop. But this is a lot wasted and they're not getting anything out of it. As Raven, he's just able to man mode here. He's picked up that level 25 talent as well. And with the space that Xien is able to provide them, thanks to the at least the purge, it's just so difficult. It is incredibly difficult. And just overall. Initiating into a Nyx Assassin, into a Dusa. Darkseer is waiting on the in the back line. Oof. Close. Maybe this is a chance, Jabs. Sunstorm. Got to be careful here. Stormcrafter gets a little bit of extra survivability. Now, in your dream, he's going to try and go beast mode here with the BKB. Eclipse pop, but he's unable to do anything. The forcing back Satanic once again. The Dark, Dark Fortress out. It's about half health, but look at him tearing them apart. Here's the Glaives are bouncing left, right, and center. They've got to rely on the buybacks, but it's just the Luna. It's just the Park. And finally, it looks like Fnatic with an numbers advantage. They've still got the ages on Raven as well. In your dream, he'll be able to get back. But now it's all objective-based gaming from Fnatic. They jump on him. Space, hit the tier fours while he slept up. We got three heroes now. I smoked up so cautious oh, their positioning. But now what do you do? Raven's even got a blink oh directly God, on top. Finds the first stun, the secondary follow-up as well. The BKB still corner. Can he even get the satanic off? He can't. Luna's down, die back for her, Mizu's gonna fall as well, and Fnatic will be able to take game one here. A little bit of their retaliation. Honestly, this draft was amazing. We've got our second draft on the way here between Fnatic and Galaxy Racer. Yeah, because it always seems like the Pox are heavily relying on making sure actually bot lane. Nice toss play from Yokam. Raven was playing with the Phantom Strike to get away from the aggressive Firefly, but Rukam tosses him straight on the head of the Phantom Assassin, and first blood picked up early here. Real hard, but Puck is water top already. They do have that ward, though. In your dream? Finds a connection in the stun. He's out of mana, though. He needs Polish to give him a 
Banishment survivability, and that's going to come through now with the last second. Especially with Alacrity showing up. Now, that was a big rotation, though. Alacrity, he hasted all the way down to bottom, and then TP'd at top. So, I don't think he's going to get too much out of the out in dra outer dragon form. Unless they find Chien. It's tossed back. Stun is available. Sans, however, a long enough duration. One more right click. Great position from Yokam. Hot pursuit of where the orb was trailing. Mizu. Try and play around with his movement speed, but again, once the slows are able to come into fray, they secure the kill. Back up the top is Raven. Getting dived under the tower. That is going to be a big pick off on top of the position one and also the first tier one of the game is Fnatic. They're looking for a rebuttal. Banishment's going to try and set up for the stun here. They can firmly dodge it, however, thanks to the Puck. DJ still falling low. Edict will claim the kill, but the Puck joins down to the southern side, and there's enough burst potential between the Shadow Demon and the Tiny. They're going to be forced to stand their ground against death. The Coil will now expire. He's up to four poison charges. This is level three as well, and that's enough to find a double for Polisun. Alacrity doesn't even need to get involved. That's exactly what we were looking so for with the Galaxy Racer lineup. They had to snowball this game. Snow. Speaking about snowballing, Radiant straight on top of Alacrity, sets up for the Ice Blast. He's a beefy hero, but he's running away from the protection of the Shadow Demon. Up to the western side, by the triangle, Yokan. Maybe if he can toss him to Polo Sun, but in fact, looks like they'll just have the result to losing the DK, but they do still have the answers and kills. The entry apparition will fall. They'll deal with the secondary support as well. But you've got to be careful about a long drawn out fight, because once his poison over can start to tick you down, with all the magical damage that they have on Fnatic, looks like they should be able to secure with a victory in the trade. There's a couple more right clicks in your dream. Still slowed up, thanks to the reset in the poison sting. And meanwhile, even even Raven getting involved as well, finding the Polos on Shadow Demon kill. Especially Raven though, you he cannot farm in the bottom jungle. So you know he's going to be playing around top mid lane, Yokan. Look at going on here. Polos is going to be a little bit too late with his TP. He also has to be careful, they can dive him deep. A snowball into the ice blast is the only outskirts he's not. DJ finds a double. And up with the rotation's a bit too late from Galaxy Racer. Mizu, he can't commit heavily. In fact, Alacrid is going to be the one to do so with the Dragon Tail stun. It's only level one, but it's enough duration to them to bring him down. Good blink reveal. Didn't expect it on the puck. Is he tanky enough? They don't have oh, Ice Blast. Uh, Spirit Vessel charges though. Stacking up to the one for the Cold Feet proc two. Mizu just has to watch his call end up dying in front of him. Oh no. BKB into Agam Scepter on DK, it's not going to be a whole lot of physical damage. Need a way to start the fight and Yokem's going to find the angle into the lasso on the toss. It's a heavy commitment to bring down Jabs and Mizu even BKBing off the coil. So Fnatic, they're looking for a reset. If they can group up around their higher ground knowing that Galaxy Racer used a lot just for the initial toss kill. Mizu's got a TPR, so now it's going to be a 4 on 4. But in your dream, looking to get involved as well. The closer the distance, gap closing on death. And all in all, a two for nothing. Try and TP, they might be a bit too late. Mizu is gonna try and run Raven down, oh, but it gives Radiant the information that they need to collapse. As Joe Kemp, the blink on forward. Raven, he's got the distance over the Phantom Track away. Alacrity's hunting. Still deal with the first ages. The core's not gonna net them too much. Now we're still with the BKB not picked up. They're gonna try and gap close. Raven, instant Phantom Track away. They're not gonna be able to close the distance. Now they're gonna deal with the rest of Fnatic. Mizu once again has to TP out in the face, but Alacrity, the BKB's expired. Do they ever cancel? They do not. But in your dream, he's not going to have the same fate. The Yules can delay. Jabs is forcing away with the rest of the supports. They even drop the poison over just in case a further team fight looks to break out. But Yokam, unfortunately, doesn't get back to safety. He'll also fall here as Fnatic. They bring the numbers. Take a two for zero. Way to go. Raven, if he blinks middle, he might be a little bit of trouble. Bad Rider on him. Flame Break. He's also got a secondary one if need be. For the rest of the team are nearby, Radiant, unfortunately, they don't have the team nearby. Let's joke Smoke instantly. Looking for another. Regen gonna go towards a triangle. They're gonna run into two Fnatic heroes, and in your dream, who does he want to target down first? Wants to keep the US Scepter defensively to purge off the Gale. But Galaxy Racer, they can collapse on DJ, so a secondary kill will pick up. Chuen, he is still pushing in top, though, and working towards his own A on this, or at least offering up Radiant Some map control. He might be in trouble though. Orban waiting rifts on cooldown. Meanwhile, actually, what's happening around the triangle? They found the kill on death and now four stuff jabs makes it up with the higher gun, but it's not gonna matter. He'll also fall. 
Death. There might be smoke on the water. Oh, ah, no, they, they did. the wrong way. They haven't brought him down just yet. Death's pretty survivable for the Antis, but unfortunately with the Poison Over still on cooldown. A snowball a second too late, but Raven's still looking to take a fight with the BKB reveal. He's going to jump on four, but it's a difficult target to bring down with the last track. He'll use himself up in the air. Now with this BKB, it's about to expire. They're going to drag him further away from the defensive side of the team. Still is able to reset. A Phantom Strike back to safety. They brought back on the Venomancer. Tosses him further underneath the tower. He's able to get the ultimate off, but the consequence is a dieback. Uh-oh, that Ice Blast could be dangerous, though. In your uh, dream, he's gonna pop! The well played, oh. Great intel getting acquired around this top jungle here as they've got to observe what are the outposts. Could have a 5-on-5 five five fight. Puck's not set up at the moment, but he does have boots of travel to connect with the team as Joe Cam. Gonna try and force him, get the toss back. It's on the Venomancer. Death is so far away from the team, but instantly they'll answer up with the tiny kill once again. Is the control is gonna be there? Death gets the ultimate. The Galaxy Racer needs to reset. Oh, Pierre gets a jump on. Bad. Gone. But they are getting a lot of control around the Roshan. Trying to see if... Unfortunately, there's no DD down bot for Alacrity. Are they going to give up another free Rosh? Guys? No way! They're coming over. It's really late, though. Pock's going to make space, and Raven should just be able to pick this up. Refresher shot. Aegis on the deck. They pop the Refresher. But Death, they're able to get the ultimate off. That's level 3 ultimate as well. Was Alacrity forced away from the river? Can he get over the high ground here with the BKB? He's actually standing against ground and man fighting as they lose Death. A buyback's available. He's going to look to rejoin. But Puck, still, they need the control right now. Trying to enable Raven. He's going to jump in straight on top of In Your Dream. But the flicker gets rid of the dagger. A follow up on forward. Has another one available. Still with the BKB. But Raven's going to look to deal with the rest. As Tiny brought down, they'll turn with the BKB on cooldown. Raven, nice timing. A jump in forward. But he's still going to control. A lack with the high ground. This Elder Dragon Form is about to expire. So Galaxy Racer need to think twice if they want to stick around. As Xian calls back up as well to cancel the TPs. He doesn't use it. In fact, he's going to try and control and hold the DK in. With the break coming up in a couple seconds for Raven, the percent damage is enough. DK's done, no buyback available. Yeah, I don't know why he's not committing for one. Oh, Raven might be able to find Mizu though. And Odyssey instantly once again with the Nullify, and that's a gem on the deck as Dai weren't able to connect Raven. Did not pick up the gem. You also have level 30 on Raven, which is a scary prospect to go into. See how they can start. It's this time they're not going to give this one up for free. But they are losing a lot of their vision. Toss back up on the high ground. Yo Cam gets a force back to safety as well. Raven is stuck on the high ground. We'll have a Phantom Strike up in a couple seconds. They're doing a very good job to be able to cut them through as Yo Cam brought down. But now with the last shot, drag back. They're prioritizing the toss. Getting rid of the defensive snowball. But the buybacks have to be costly for Galaxy Racer with the outpost control. If they can get back in the nick of time, maybe the numbers advantage before Radiant get reset with their own. Do you want a courier? Does he want to kill? We run into Mizu. Instant use of the Nullify. A little bit early before the Aeon Disc. You gotta keep in mind. They've got the Aghanims, but a jump in. Coral, he's the oily Ag's getting picked up here from Xi'an. Let's see if it's gonna be enough control help with the first life. Raven's still not down just yet. He's able to two towards to the best side. Still finds the first life. No, no buybacks available as well. It's just up to Lesh Track along with the Dragonite. Xuan's. He's able to get the jaw through the western side, but instant blink on four, but the overwhelming the BKB is expired here. And Phantom Assassin gets ripped apart in your dream. He's going boss mode. An exquisite toxin. Yeah, I just want to spoke about like PA alone in this late game is not good enough to deal enough damage against the Dragonite as well as Leshrak. So what sentry, so instantly Chuen is gonna try and see if he can pop this smoke and, and get some information. They're going to jump in. Lasso's out. They found the Ancient Apparition. They're going to look to try and take away the Ice Blast before the fight. And they're able to burst him down. He actually does get it off. It's on the DK. But there's no more fall up. And, and AA's down for, for two minutes here. Either right, team's smoked up. Another Roche is up in 10 seconds. How's the smoke going to pop those? Chuen. Great positioning from him. Pops it. Like, oh, tiny. That's not a spot you want to be. The waning roof pushing him down to the other team. But meanwhile, Chuen... He's caught off the back line, stopping any assistance to keep the tiny alive. Now they need to look to reset with the Wind Wake Up. Lesh getting better positioning. But the Agnum's core once again, thanks to the refresher, locking the dragon up. They're gonna buy back the outpost control as well, but the rest of Galaxy Racer need to get back to safety. But another great use of the waning rift is Chuen. 
comes out big in that fight. So look, Alex Racer buyback, but Mizu, I mean, might just get caught out before they're able to help him. He's also going to buy back as well. Polis on silence. He doesn't have to get the banishment. What's going on, Gelly Racer? You're stuck in this lane for such a long time. But you're making a couple of misplays here. Now with the Antis getting popped as well. Instant with the snowball. Getting rid of the lasso. They're pushing in the dream further and further back towards the Phantom Assassin. But now with the BK means expiring, they can't commit deep inside the base. So they have to look for a reset. Fnatic, back out they go. But big win conditions as all of Galaxy Razor have bought back. Just outside tower range, thanks to the Ballista. Yeah, very balanced. How does Mizu start? He's looking for an angle. As soon as the Lincoln's the spies, but now he's going to pop the BKB. He's going to break in sleep. Nice toss away from Yokan. Chuen's still going to commit on forward. This waning rift pushback and the Ballista with the face is so annoying. Lincoln's going to protect him. Raven's hunting now, though. But no one again finding the angle. Finally! 69 minutes in, though. We've got a tier 3 that gets claimed. We're inching closer and closer towards the end. Maybe with a nice ice blast as well. Kick back. Oh, not cute play. We're going to have to try and start a lack. But he's so beefy. 5,100 health in your dreams in the midst of it all. They're targeting down the Ancient Apparition with the Wind Waker once again. But it's kind of through the BKB. In your dreams now in trouble. With the Bloodstone, it's going to give him absolutely nothing. As Phantom Assassin's able to stand his ground. But now with the back line, Tuscar's going to fall. A two for one, but they've got the buybacks here available on Fnatic, but can they rejoin with the team? They've got the outpost control trying to help out, but the Angel's going to get claimed as well. But still, there's no control with the puck. He's able to get the jaunts away with the phase shift. Silence is out. Tiny can't get the avalanche toss. It's all up to the Dragon Knight now, but the break is there. He doesn't have a big game. He's able to perch it off and DK's down. No buyback available. And finally, 70 minutes in. This should be all she wrote. Mizu's going to try and kite them down to the southern side, but Jabs breaks the coil with the punch. I'm dead indeed, and this game should be done and dusted. It's finally over. Another 70 minute game. Why do they always involve me? <laughs> What's Polo doing? He's trying. He's trying, but Refresh on? doesn't matter what you try at this point. <laughs> Wait, they're all even running away to kill him. <laughs> now the disruption... Wait, how do you blink an Aeon disc? Ah, jeez, it called Fnatic. Finally. <laughs> 71 minutes in. <laughs> how are you alive? They take the series 2-0. to zero.